सर द मेन रीजन फॉर द राइज इन प्राइसेस अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इज द डेफिसिट फाइनेंसिंग एंगेज बाय द गवर्नमेंट आई विल ओनली गिव ए फ्यू एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डेफिसिट फाइनेंसिंग एंड व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन दिस कंट्री बिटवीन नाइनटीन एटी फाइव एंड नाइनटीन एटी सिक्स देयर हैज बीन ए डिफिसिट ऑफ रुपीज फोर क्रोर्स एज पर द लेटेस्ट आंसर गिवन बाय द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट फॉर प्लानिंग एंड प्रोग्राम इम्प्लीमेंटेशन रिसेंटली इन द लोकसभा विद दिस काइंड ऑफ ए बजेटरी डेफिसिट नेचुरली द गवर्नमेंट शुड बी अवेयर दैट द प्राइसेस विल गो अप बट वेन दिस पॉइंट वॉज रेज ड्यूरिंग द बजेट डिस्कशन बाय मी एंड मेनी ऑनरेबल मेम्बर्स देन फाइनान्स मिनिस्टर एंड द ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर बोथ सेड दैट डिफिसिट फाइनान्सिंग वुड नॉट इन एनी वे effect the rise in prices and they had taken full care of it but it is very clear that because of the deficit created by the government and because the government is not able to live within its means the main reason for the inflation is economy has come about para sir i may also bring to your notice that the share of revenue expenditure of the government has grown actually when you take the increase in tax ratio in relation to gdp it was 9% in 1960 1961 and in 1985 1986 it was only 15% the tax ratio has not increased commensurate to the expenditure and what happened consequently is that there has been created a deficit and the deficit has to be managed by the government by various method most probably the honorable minister would have read the latest theory that inflation definitely is caused by deficit and democratic government always engage in deficit by deficit budgeting because they are setting in a welfare economy they want to do their best whether they have money or not they want to go about it but ultimately they end in deficit we see that whether it is the government at the center or the state because the aspiration of the people are so much the government want to do so much first of all it is unlike a householder who has this budget according to his income first of all he find out what is the income and how much he could spend for his income but how the government process and put up its budget first of all it want to know how much the people want what all the want of the people are then it aggregate the whole thing and then says the budget is not sufficient it is not able to raise the tax revenue and then it goes in for borrowing or printing of currency note ultimately and naturally inflation came into being and then they say that the holders and others are increasing the prices and they are responsible for the reason for the increase in prices of the essential commodities 